Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video. And before we hop in, I got a couple of things I want to say. First of all, is shout out to the giveaway winner, Noah Solomon. Uh, I pinned it, I said congratulations, you are the winner of the first ever DB Grinder giveaway. Comment on how I should contact you, so if you see this video or you saw that comment, make sure you somehow contact me so that way I can get your address and send you the mat. Uh, also, for future giveaways, uh, people overseas thought that I wouldn't ship the mat to them, uh, or they would have to pay shipping, uh, but that's just not how it is. If I can ship the mat to you, uh, like I can like send it to your country, which I'm pretty sure I can send to like any country besides like North Korea, then I'll just like ship it to you. I don't care how much it costs. Uh, if you win the giveaway, you get the mat. Simple as that. Uh, but the next thing is... Uh, before we hop into this higher to DB, um, I'm going to be live streaming run, when this video comes out, literally right now. I just started my first ever live stream uh, on the DB Grinder at, on Twitch. Uh, the DB underscore Grinder. It's in the description down below if you want to see that. Um, if you can't check it out live, then I'm going to be posting the whole video on my second channel. So make sure to subscribe to that. That's also in the description. Uh, but let's just hop right in. Uh, we got Kid Flash with 774 rating versus Tristan Bridges with 1,178 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video. And let's hop right in. Uh, so we're going to see Kid Flash win the rock, paper, scissors shoot. And he decides to go first. 40 versus 40. Opening hands is low, uh, opening double lord sucks. Seeing this card going first, like is just not that good unless if you open like cursed with it or like you have to open up a really weird hand for lord to be good going first uh but two lord cursed ash and ecclesia uh it's it's not looking too good from this side he'll have a few interruptions still uh and he'll have his engine set up but it's not like normal summon jet or anything like that it's not that good of a hand and then he has cosmic meltdown servant invocation cosmic this hand is kind of nuts he has he, so he's just gonna out eldlish stuff if he ends up getting to like conquistador which he isn't uh but if he would have then he would have had the out then uh when alistair gets asked he has invocation and servant that's a good hand and he still has a six draw activate curse pay eight feel great add walkero then Lord Effects, Sun Cursed, Curse, Sun Conquistador. Then Normal Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia, Add Punishment. And then Set Punishment. And then End Phase, Wakero, Conquistador, Set Scarlet, White Destiny. Uh, another thing he could have done is instead of, he could have Normal Summon Ecclesia and used the effect of it. And if it got hit with the Gamma, then use Lord Effect to sun the Gamma. Uh, and then Lord summon itself back by getting rid of Curse. And it's like the same end board. Uh, like if you get gamma like later on, like Ecclesia is going down either way. You're going to end with these either way. But you could have had a Lord on board if you got hit with Gamma. So I think like the line of play should have been a little different just to play around Gamma. Uh, and then he draws Alistair. That's like... That's nice. Like, it's not, like, super good because he already had access to it, but, like, if this guy asked for some reason, like, he asked, like, the wrong thing, could have been bad for him. Cosmic on Punishment. He knows where that's at because he knows what these two are, so he just hits the random back row and he added it. Uh, meltdown add. See? I told you. I, t I was like, what if he asked it was the wrong card? Then the Alistair draw would be nice. And he asked the wrong card, so now the Alistair draw is nice. Uh, also, you're supposed to ask Alistair, not Meltdown, because uh, there's three Alistair in deck after you ask Meltdown, and there's two Invocation in deck after you ask Meltdown. So the odds of your opponent having an Alistair over an invocation is higher. Uh, he's gonna add Alistair. Oh wait, no, he, he got Ash. He's, yeah, I was gonna say, he's gonna put that back after he realizes. He's gonna normal summon Alistair, uses effect, adds invocation, and then links into Amirage, 
then into Secure Garden, uh, Activate, Invocation, Chain White Destiny to get the Lord out of Grave. Then he's going to Banish a Fire and Alistair to summon Purgatrio. And then grab back Alistair. Drops Alistair on Purgatrio. Uses Invocation to summon a Macabre. Um... Then he's gonna activate Servant, getting rid of Elder to add Ecclesia. Elder to force out Scarlet. He chains it to bring out Lord. He should have he should have just let it die there, right? Cause like this is just extra damage that you're taking now, cause you use that. You could just like let that die and then end phase use its effect to set. That was definitely a misplay. That's just giving him more damage. Cause this is already at uh three thousand nine hundred right now. Special summon out, Ecclesia effect, add knight. And special summon knight. Um, he should have used the effect to negate the Ecclesia. So that way he could have done even more damage. Oh, Alright, so he did use the effect to negate. Um, then Purgatrio, attack over Lord. And then Kid Flash is just going to admit defeat. Uh, he loses there, for sure. Uh, he's going first game two. Opening hand is Golden Land Forever, Judgment, Lord, Wakero, Scarlet. This is a good hand. Uh, it's not like super good where he has like Ecclesia or a Jet, but he has like his Eldest, um, so he'll have his Eldest set up for turns, and then he has multiple Hard Negates. So he's just going to set four pass, and then his hand is punishment after the draw. I forgot to go over his hand pre-draw. Uh, he has punishment, evenly, ash, imperm, knight, and valor. Uh, so like these three hand traps are just not going to do anything. Or imperm and valor aren't going to do anything until he sees his dog stuff. Ash can still hit stuff like Scarlet. Um, but his hand just doesn't do anything. Like It goes to battle phase. And then end the battle, uses evenly, gets hit with judgment. Main phase 2, set imperm, set punishment, pass. He's going to use scarlet. He's letting that resolve. I feel like... Oh yeah, so he's letting that resolve because he wants to use punishment on the lord. Um, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, he wants to get to his dog engine. Uh, draws Ecclesia. Normal summon Ecclesia effect is going to get negated by Valor Imperm. Gets it with Valor. Um, that makes me think that he's not playing like even like Needle Fiber in his extra deck. Like with the Selene play. Alright, would have kept that in hand and just used Imperm. Uh, Scarlet set Conquistador. And then End Phase Punishment. Send Ash. To get rid of Lord. And then he's going to get Ash Dragon to bring out Ecclesia. And then Ecclesia effect to add Punishment. So he's playing multiple Punishment. That's kind of interesting for like an invoked Dogmatica build. Because Punishment locks you out of extra deck. Which makes all of your invoked cards dead the next turn. Draws Book of Moon. Now this, this is a card that I think... Like, isn't, like, super good, but at least deserves to be noticed. Because, like, it dodges Valor, Imperm, uh, dodges a lot of things. And it's still, like, just a solid, like, Book of Moon. Like, it's a good interruption. Uh, draws Black Awakening. Like, if you're playing against, like, Combo or, like, Dragon Link, you can, like, Book of Moon their guy. Maybe they put it in the wrong zone. It costs them. Uh, I don't know. It, this card's nice. He's going to use the Lord effect, and he's going to target Book of Moon, and he's just going to chain Book of Moon to set his Ecclesia. Uh, this doesn't have, like, a flip effect, so it's not really doing anything, but, I don't know, he still did it. And it also would turn off his Knight, so I really don't think he should have Book of Moon that, because, like, I don't know, his opponent could have had something. I guess... Like, he really can't, because, like, all he has is, like, set cards, and it's not like he's going to flip a set tuning from turn one. 
Special uh, Lord uh, with its Grave Effect, and then Attack over Ecclesia, Attack Direct with 15. Then Black Awakening, the set Conquistador. And then End Phase, Conquistador to set Scarlet. And now he has Golden Land Forever, Conquistador, Wakero, and Scarlet set. Draws another Ash. And he admits defeat. So now, moving on to game three, we're going to see Tristan go first. The opening hands are Ecclesia, Wakero, Imperm, Punishment, and Wakero. So, this hand has one hand trap, and it has like one other card that's good going second. This is not too good. And then he has Ash, Invocation, Book of Moon, Ash, Meltdown. The book, oh, he's going to do the play. He's going to dodge the Imperm with the book. Or, actually, uh, I kind of feel like he's going to let it resolve. Because he already has an Invocation in hand. And I don't think he's going to be able to do Fusion plays either way this turn. Or, no, 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 if this gets Imperm, he doesn't chain book. Then he can just go into the Amaraz Shakir Garden. But if he chains book, then he wouldn't have any Fusion plays this turn. That's what I meant to say. Because obviously if he books his Alistair, he can't go into Link plays. Goes into Omrage, goes into Secure Garden, uh, Invocation, Banish 2. And then bring out Macabo, then Invocation, Grave Effect, put itself back to the deck to grab Alistair. And then pass turn, draws Lord for turn. Special out Ecclesia. He's going to use Macabre Effect to negate and banish. He's going to use Lord Effect. Like, that That Lord was a pretty nice top deck, being able to get, like, the Walkero engraved and out the Macabre. He's going to set another Walkero. Lord, bring itself out. Then Battle Phase, attack for 3,500. Main Phase 2, set Punishment. End Phase, Walkero, set Scarlet. And then Pass Play. Uh, draws Ice Dragon's Prison. That's really good versus uh, like Dogmatica Eldlish because this is looking more like a pure build of like Dogmatica Eldlish, like no synchro. And Ice Dragon's Prison being able to rip a Lord out of Grave uh, and one off field, both to the banished, is so good. Normal Alistair effect, add Invocation, and then use Invocation. To banish Alistair and Macabre to go for Agu. And then uh, he's going to use Invocation Effect. He, uh, he can't destroy this because it was someone with a ton of effects, so there's no point of even using that. Uh, uses Invocation Grave Effect. He's going to chain Punishment, targeting the Invoked. He's going to chain Book of Moon to set it. So that way he doesn't get a send with the punishment because it has to check for the attack and it can't do that if it's set. So it just makes punishment like fizzle there. Uh, and then invocation adds Alistair back to hand. Set Ice Dragon's Prison. End phase, Scarlet. Bring out Lord. He is lot of locked out of extra deck next turn too. Walkero, set White Destiny. So it's not like you can go for like Gustav Max, detach a Lord, Lord bring itself back by getting rid of White Destiny, draws Cursed. Um, that gives him access to the other. Oh, he can't overlay. He's under punishment. Don't let this go through. No, they're actually letting everything happen. That's not how it's supposed to go. Look, it says punishment says you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck uh, until the end of your next turn after this card resolves. And this is currently his next turn. So this, oh no, they actually let it all go. That sucks. Oh, like that, that changes everything. Like that Lord being able to detach uh, gives him access to where he has all of his golden lands. He has his whole engine. He has a bigger beat stick on board. He can actually beat over the invoke now. He's going to use Ice Dragon's Prison to try to take Lord. He's going to chain White Destiny to bring out the Lord. He's going to get to add Conquistador. 
Set Conquistador, Banish Scarlet, Set Walkero. Pass turn. Why? He could have. I I don't know. Um, he didn't even need to activate Curse there. Like he had access to Walkero and Conquistador. Uh, he could have just let this get snatched up by the opponent, and then he should have never used that. And then he could have just uh, had this on board detached. His opponent would be forced to do this because he'd be in the same scenario. And he just let them take it, and you summon the Jug. You beat over the whole board, and then you Lord Gear to White Destiny, bring yourself back. You still end on Walkero, Conquistador, and then you activate Curse Main Phase 2 to add Golden Land Forever if it's still in your deck post side. Oh, uh, we draw another Ice Dragon's Prison. It's still a good draw. Uh, being able to get rid of Lords on like any turn is good. Normal Summon Alistair, use the effect, adds Invocation. It's also big that he wasn't able to kill this, because that's an extra monster on his board. Conquistador. He's going to pop Alistair. Then Wakero to banish Alistair. Um, so, all he has is this invoked. Uh, flips it, set Ice Dragon Prison, set Invocation, and then pass turn. Um, he should have attacked over Conquistador Wakero. Because he knows that this build's like a pure build, so now he can just go for Pleiades. Extravagance, Banish 6, gets hit with Ash. Um... Banished one Pleiades, so he should still have another one in there if he's playing multiples, which he, again, should be. Uh, Gustav, max effect, burn for 2k, and then on resolution, Ice Dragon's Prison, bring out Lord, and banish both the Lords. Activate Cursed Effect, pay 8, feel great, to add Lord. What is adding Lord there? Oh, it makes it so you can Pleiades, bounce back your own curse, send, to get Lord Engrave. Um, he's going to use his Invoked Effect, and he targets Pleiades, and he's going to chain Pleiades to bounce Curse, that way he can Curse Send, and then Lord bring itself back after banishing White Destiny to Set, so he'll have a lot there. Again, I think the Invoked player should have attacked over Conquistador, Arwak Hero. Either way, he did just like lose to Gustav Max attacking. So there's not like too much he was able to do there. But that's it for the match. Uh, again, uh, even when this video is done, I'm probably still live streaming if you watch it like right when this video comes out. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace.